Hello there everybody and welcome to the ultimate Schleich Horse Barn Tour. The whole scene you're about to see has taken over a week of working to set up and get to the point of filming today. It has been set up in my kitchen. I've had to kick the family out and the kitchen table and everything to be able to fit everything in. This tour includes all my handmade barns and all the Schleich sets that I own to date. It is the biggest barn tour I've done by far on my channel and I've done some big, pretty big ones in the past so that is saying something. We have just hit 23,000 subscribers on the channel so I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video because I know barn tours are super popular on my channel and I thought this would be a great video to put up to celebrate and also to say thank you and it's a good sort of milestone marker in terms of the barn setup. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching, sit back, have a nice snack, <laughs> have fun watching and um, yeah, get loads of inspiration for your barns at home or just for fun. <laughs> anyway, let's begin the tour. I can't wait to show you. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the barn. It is massive as you can see and currently in my kitchen. Um, so welcome, welcome to the kitchen. We've currently kicked out the dining room table and stuff that's usually there. Um, and I've put down my fake grass mat, which you, well, you will know basically about if you saw the setup video. I've tried to film as much of the put up of the barn as possible um, to bring you guys along. And because it's such a big setup, I thought it deserved two videos. So <laughs> this is the full tour. We're going into the details details and um i'm gonna be here till christmas <laughs> if i don't get a move on so let's do that um we're gonna start at the entrance to the barn which is down here by my feet um yeah okay hi everyone now we can reach everything i'm down on the floor um this is the entrance of the barn and as you can see it's a grassy track road that sort of runs and takes you uh way to the back of the barn so that's very helpful if you need to drive a trailer down for example which we have right here conveniently <laughs> um the road is also bordered by these rocks that um we just got from the driveway um don't tell my dad <laughs> they will be going back it's fine um but shout out to my brother he really helpfully um helped me set up the road and a few other bits of the barn you will have seen him in the setup for the barn video um yeah he was a legend so thank you <laughs> Yeah, the road I really love, and I've done that before in some of the barn tours, uh, the older barn tours on my channel, so I wanted to do that again this time. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look in the trailer, which has super cute, um, like, horse stickers on the side of, like, the, the four main horse club girls. I really like that. <laughs> in the back, we're going to look at the horses first, because why not? We have Mac, the retired Arabian stallion, who I unboxed on my channel so cute he's just in there chilling next to him is kiki the nab stripper mare who is also super cute uh super cute <laughs> let's pop them back in there um and i think we've got tack also in the sides let me have a look i might have to unclip this right in the side we've got a bridle and also a head collar back there i think you can see it i think it's one i made um and in the other side we've just got a saddle in the front of the car we have um bella who is riding shotgun <laughs> also disclaimer i have quite a few repeats of people um so you will see like multiple versions of bella living her life around the barn do not be alarmed let's just pretend they're different people or like her at different points in the day okay don't don't be put off by it <laughs> um Driving the truck, we have this lovely lady who I did actually repaint um, because she was a double of the vet Abby that I have. Um, I, I did a really good job repainting her, like, I think. I was pleased with her at the time, but I forgot to seal her. Um, she's now covered in fuzz <laughs> from the carpet and stuff. So, yeah, that's why she's in there, so you can't really tell. <laughs> okay. So the truck is arriving at the barn and I forgot to mention it is show day at the barn. It's a late summer start of September show and everyone is flocking because it's a great event. So obviously these two are arriving um, to take part and compete and have a bit of fun and some snacks. So it's, <laughs> it's really packed at the barn today and there's lots to show you. So let's let's move on from the car. <laughs> 
Okay, um, to the left of the car, we have the massive, uh, I think it's the lakeside house, um, mansion. I think it's not really a house at this point. It's got a balcony and everything. <laughs> and it's got a grand entrance with rocks. We've got one in the centre here to stop um, irresponsible drivers just going up there. We also have uh, one on the other side to stop people going up that way. There's, like, they've been put there for a reason. There's, bad, <laughs> there's been bad experiences in the past. But no, that's that. And we've got, obviously, the path up to the house. On the path here, galloping quite frantically, um, is Jessie, and she's riding Cora, the Frisian mare. Um, I think they were late, or like they're late or something, for one of their classes. Um, hence the erratic riding, like, in front of the car. I don't, don't ask me. Like, Jessie, she's, she's got it covered, but <laughs> I don't think I would be doing that. <laughs> um, behind them, we have the front door to the massive mansion. It's bordered by these lovely, uh, I don't know, shrubs. <laughs> On the front doorstep, we have a tiny, and I mean tiny, um, bottle of milk that's been delivered this morning um, by like the milk cart, but nobody's home obviously because it's show day, so the milk's just kind of been sat out there in the sun. I don't think anyone's going to want to taste that, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's there. Let's head inside the house first because it seems like the, nat like the natural progression, like down the path into the house. Here we are inside the house. Welcome. Um, you can see outside through the doors there and in the entrance hall we have one of the huskies that's owned by the family that live here um and it's parking its head off because it wants to well it wants to be in on all the fun outside and it can hear people laughing out there and it's not happy about that i don't think i've actually got a name for this one um or if i did i can't re quite remember it but if you want to suggest a name please feel free it's super cute <laughs> and noisy um Either side of it are the kitchen benches. Um, these do actually flap up, so you could put storage, like, you know, put things for storage underneath that. Um, and on the wall we have pictures, which are sweet. And on the other wall we have some rosettes from maybe previous years of uh, festivals, <laughs> which are fun. Back this way we have uh, Sunny, who is another husky that was a bit more chilled out than the other one over there. <laughs> It's like, what are you doing? Um, so yeah, that's the entrance hall. You'll note the kitchen table is not in here today. I think it's been taken outside to be used as a judging bench or something. Um, they were short on tables like, around the barn, so they needed another one. Uh, left here, we've got the kitchen, which is super uh, simple and clean. It's got the four mugs hung up here. We've got a frying pan left over, I guess, from breakfast on the uh, oven. The uh, oven door does open, but there's nothing in it right now. There's a dog bowl in the corner, a calendar on the wall, and there's the sink with a lone cabbage on top and a pot underneath. Also, I did just check, there is nothing in the fridge, um, which is a bit surprising. I think the family must have taken all their supplies out to the cafe or something today or taken them on a picnic. I, yeah, anyway, they're very low on food, so let's not worry about that too much. Um, right past the entrance hall, we have the lounge. Um, which has a lovely L-shaped sofa, fireplace with some uh, sticks in, ready for a fire. We've got a trophy up there on the top of the fireplace and a lovely another, like another picture of the horse club girls. Also, I forgot about this. There's a TV on the wall. I just, I just realised that was a TV. I thought it was a chalkboard, but no, a TV in our lounge makes more sense. <laughs> Let's head up the stairs and the room you come into first is the bathroom. It's got a lovely, uh, teal green sort of colour scheme. I've put a flower pot uh, under the sink. I don't know if that's very realistic, but it's there and it was the same colour, so I thought it looked kind of cool. <laughs> uh, left is the master's bedroom, which has a cute side table with a picture frame that I made of um, horse and rider celebrating at a show. <laughs> um, and then there's also a lamp, a little, yeah, with a little heart on it. That's on the side table. And we've got another picture above the bed, which is cute. And you can see out the window again to the rest of the barn through there. Let's head back along this way. And there's the kids' bedroom with bunk beds, um, a cute pillow and a horse, oh my goodness, a horse teddy. Um, we'll leave that there. I'm not putting it back on. <laughs> there's also a horse riding helmet on the floor and another lamp. Uh, let's go up again to the attic. Um, there's the secret hatch here. There's a empty crate here, a mysterious crate with a key on top there. 
barrel in the back, and oh look, there's somebody, uh, <laughs> somebody we met before. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say it's Jesse, but it could be whoever you want it to be. <laughs> Um, uh, Jessie, she's currently looking through the telescope. I don't actually know what she's doing. I think she might be spying, which is a bit, a bit suspicious. She might be spying on somebody with, like, cupcakes. Um, I don't know. I think, I think she's looking at Crystal, Abigail. Yeah, I think she's looking at them. They've just got a cupcake from the cafe, so she's maybe thinking, hmm, I need to go and get one for myself. <laughs> anyway, she's, she's doing that. Um, hiding in the attic, which is a bit weird, and um, her hat's on the floor. To the left here, we've got suitcases uh, left over, and also this very cool leather backpack. Um, yeah, the attic is quite, quite actually aesthetic in a way. <laughs> I quite like it. Um, and then we've got the balcony over here. These are the doors to get out onto it. But there's nothing out here right now. I think, again, all the tables and chairs are being used for the festival today. So, yeah, there's not really that hanging around on the balcony. Um, and the house is pretty bare apart from that because all the fun is happening outside. So let's go back out and see what's happening out there, I think. Welcome back outside. I also wanted to mention, look at the cute baskets of flowers out of the windows. I think it looks so cute and really pulls the whole house together. Um, I really like those. And also up on the roof, <laughs> there's the telescope. Um, there's the weather vane on top. I actually just had to Google what this was called because I forget it all the time. I like, I'm like, is it a sundial? I'm like, no, it's not, it's not. Um, but yeah, the weather vane is pointing that way. And um, my brother was really proud of this. He came up with the idea that the wind was going in one direction, like across the barn. So um, everywhere there's like flags or something like that. We've tried to point them in the same direction. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a cute detail as well. <laughs> now we're gonna head into this section here before moving on. And this bit of the barn is really fun. And this tent has obviously been set up uh, temporarily for the festival. The lawn outside the house, ha house is normally clear or got pad temporary paddocks in. Um, or it's sort of used as a temporary setup for different events happening at the barn. Because it's like a big space. So um, today it's being used as the getting ready sort of fun place to decorate and clean your horse and have a bit of a laugh um, with your friends. The uh, horse shop is also here so it, you know if you're like oh no I really need a bow for my horse like urgently you can just you can just pop inside it's it's perfect. <laughs> so um, let's start over here on the left where we have the sort of tie up wash area for the house um, which is here permanently um, but it's using like it's being used a lot today. Um, we've got the hose there with some bubble, some bubbles, <laughs> no, with a soap bottle for horses. It might be blue shampoo, I'm not sure. Um, and tied up right now, we have the collector Morgan Stallion, who I actually just bought secondhand, so he doesn't have a name yet, but he is gorgeous. Um, he's tied up, and he is, I think, <laughs> a bit alarmed at the fact that Jesse and Cora are racing off like that. He's kind of, like, straining to go, oh my goodness, what is... <laughs> What is going on over there? So yeah, I'd really appreciate name suggestions for this guy. I really love him. Um, and he's like super athletic and sleek. So I don't know if that helps with names. <laughs> Just let me know what you think down below in the comments. Next to him is Sophia and Gucci, the Rocky, Rocky Mountain mare. And they were all tacked up beautifully, ready for the show. Um, Gucci has excellent flower braids in her mane and matching tack and everything and it's gorgeous. I love that set. <laughs> and then in the um, actual sort of, not makeup tent, but it's like the accessory tent, we'll call it. Um, we have Darcy, the swan, who is preening in the mirror. Look at, look at her. Um, I think <laughs> she's kind of got the tent to herself because she's got a reputation for being quite grumpy slash hostile. <laughs> So yeah, she's admiring her feathers in the mirror, which is super cute and very aesthetic. Then um, inside the tent, <laughs> if I can like get in without being bit by the swan, um, we've got one of the tables, which might actually be the family, like the house's kitchen table, um, <laughs> being repurposed. Um, on the table, we've got two brushes and an accessory kit, which if you open up, it's got, I think, more brushes in, um, something like that. We've also got another mirror on the back wall there and lovely curtains on either side, giving it that festival tent vibe. 
On this side over here, we have the horse shop area and I just love this whole area. It's so cute and uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> um, the horse shop has a cute sign on the corner there, which overhangs the road. And um, it ma I did it sort of to match like the cafe on the other side. So the cafe obviously has the sign. So this is like the shop end kind of thing and um, is right at the entrance of the barn. So people coming in their car can, you know, drive past and see the sign and be like, oh, I need to stop in there and buy some supplies. <laughs> so it's good marketing. <laughs> anyway, um, tied up outside of the shop right now, we have Chili and she is my German riding pony mare and she's currently being tacked up and um, is also wearing this um, ear bonnet that I made her and I actually have a tutorial for making these on my channel if you're interested, they are super fun. <laughs> She's also wearing a martingale that I made, not for her, but just generally. Um, so yeah, she's being tacked up. Her saddle is currently waiting to be put on on this like saddle stand here. Um, so that's very convenient. <laughs> then on the wall, um, we've got a hay net thing uh, to keep her entertained a sponge and um, that sort of goes with the hose bubble <laughs> bubble blue shampoo thing um, in case you want to give your horse a bath. There's a sign for how to do that on the wall and there's some also, also some flowers down there which are cute and I've also got some uh, on the other side here and a dog bowl because you know people come to shops and their dog needs a drink so it makes sense. <laughs> anyway let's go inside the shop and first of all the stable doors are really cute. I love stable doors. So that's a nice detail of, uh, for the shop. <laughs> Inside, we have um, quite a lot going on. <laughs> We've got uh, lots of blankets for sale on this blanket stand. <laughs> I'm not sure what the better name for that is, but the blanket stand. We've got a full blanket and two regular sized ones. Then on the back wall there, we've got two more for sale. And here's the shopkeeper. I'm not sure what his name is, but he kind of gives me the creeps. I don't, I don't know why. I think it's just his hair and it's like his eyes. I'm not sure what it is. It's just everything about him, I think. <laughs> anyway, we'll ignore him. He doesn't currently have a name because I can't bring myself to actually like name him. Anyway, in the corner, there's a massive jar of mints, um, which are made of clay. They're like polo mints. And then I just sculpted them with my hands. <laughs> I don't know how much you sculpt clay, but yeah, they're there. On the main counter here, we obviously have the till, um, some flowers, and this really cute uh, paper bag of treats that I made by printing out some, I don't know, printouts of the Bailey's horse feed sign <laughs> or the bag it, like packaging. Um, here we have some, I guess it's feed again. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, there's a guinea pig or rabbit water bottle there um, for sale and underneath the counter we have a map of sort of the barn and camping, camp, like where you can camp and stuff. So <laughs> that's kind of some information. Uh, on this side we have a giant crate filled with loads of grooming supplies so you can sort of have a rummage through and find the brush you want. Uh, we've got two empty saddle racks on the wall. I don't know where the saddles are gone, I think they must have sold. Um, down there we've got a sack. I don't know what's in that sack. Then here we have, um, just a girl. And I think she wants, uh, to buy some fly spray because <laughs> the flies are kind of bad in summer. So yeah, she's just grabbing some of that. On the shelf up here, we've got a lantern and two helmets. Um, below that we've got three more helmets uh, for sale and a rosette. Um, Next to the fly spray is some feathers that like you could put on your horse's mane or tail or tack or whatever. Uh, there's a bucket next to that and on the shelf below we have some uh, tubes of cream <laughs> and a book. Um, and on the bottom shelf are some first aid supplies. There's a bandage, steth stethoscope and also a warning sign. Um, yeah, that's a bit scary. <laughs> um, on the floor we've got some like bottles to help with I guess foals um we've got two giant crates stacked with apples and on the floor here we've got some more horse treats so keeping that theme going and then we've also got um I guess a dog and a cat toy uh for sale yeah I think that's pretty much everything in the shop to be honest um so there's quite a lot of things to obviously purchase but um there's a lot of people at the barn today so they're stocked up <laughs> yeah but um for this corner I that is 
everything we have we have done this corner so i think we'll go back to the road and have a look at the stuff on the right now continuing with the tool then we will look to the right obviously i've already shown you the path um with the stone in the middle but to the right we have the first barn um which i like picked specifically because it sort of matches the house and with the colors and everything so it looks quite grand as you drive down the driveway and it's matching on both sides and then the uh brown like my handmade barns are down there so they sort of have that view of them it's quite cool <laughs> that was the um thought i had behind it but yeah right by this barn is also the cafe area as i mentioned before um so i think we'll have a look at that first because i'm kind of in like a shop place right now <laughs> so let's go to the entrance to the cafe um where we have misty the connemara pony mare and lila and they are just coming out of the cafe with their friends abigail and crystal um yeah, they've been stocked up on snacks and I guess they're going to go and watch the activities or join in or something. But um, Lila has a smoothie in her hand and a cupcake picnic basket in the back, as usual. Abigail also has a cupcake. And um, Crystal, I think she's the quarter horse mare and has a lovely pink tack. So, yeah, this is obviously breaking like the rocks so you can get in and out of the cafe. Um, and then you come into the cafe and it's a lovely seating area. <laughs> It's got a sign over here with the prices and some advertising on it. <laughs> we have the first picnic table here with no chairs, but um, it's got some flowers. I don't know where the chairs have gone. They may have been snatched, snatched for like watching the show or something like that. Uh, on this second table here, we have a, I think it might be a mum and a son. They're having a nice salad lunch together. And um, he's also got a little piece of blueberry pie. Um... <laughs> in the paddock right here we have brandy and she is a dartmoor pony mare and really wants some of that salad <laughs> let's move um this way to the horse parking area where we have two little guys stashed <laughs> um this is seamus and he is an american saddlebred gelding and is super cute and next to him is his good friend uh dude <laughs> and he is a paint horse gelding and they are just I think they're really good friends. They're just sat there chilling together, um, waiting for their riders to be done with lunch or whatever, uh, snacking on some apples in that feeder there. And obviously they're stood right by the cafe sign. <laughs> and yeah, I love these two. They're just adorable. Okay, let's head inside the cafe. So the door's here and um, right by the door is a tiny little house plant um, in a pot that I made. I don't know why, but I made like a few of these in different sizes and I find them so adorable. The um, pots I made out of clay and then I painted them. I'll give you a look here um, with silver paint. And then because they're made from clay, they've got a lot of character. So when I put like the little tufts of uh, fake grass in, they just came to life and I love them. So yeah, <laughs> that's the pot in the corner. On the counter, we have the lone bun. Um, there's some others, but this one is just sat here. There's also half a pie left. Um, two juices, uh, some bottles of lemonade. We've got um, a mug and some cups that have not been used yet. The coffee machine's in the corner, but the supplies for lunch and whatever are looking a little thin because I think a lot of people have already eaten. So yeah, the chef, Ollie, he is currently making some more. Um, let me spin him round so you can have a look at Ollie. Um, he's wearing his apron. And he's also got the milk in his hand because I think he's making meringues in the pan. I don't know if that's how you make meringues. I don't think it is, but this is how he makes them. And he seems to be a good chef because everyone comes to his cafe. So, yeah, he's there by the um, oven. Uh, we've got the big sign on the back wall with prices. We've got rosettes in the corner over there. And on the back wall, we've got some milk. Um, I think this is what came in the delivery this morning, though he's actually taken his inside, unlike the big house. Um, and there's also bread on the shelf back there for some reason. <laughs> um, in the back corner, we've got a cute poster of a Shetland pony in the snow that I put up. And I got that off, uh, off of the back of a calendar. Now, in the back corner here, uh, we have the mega cake. Um, it's three tiers. I made this out of clay as well. And on the top is like a mountain of berries. Um, 
is pretty spectacular. <laughs> That's not been touched yet. Though, um, next to that, we've got a chocolate log, um, which is also very crazy. And I made that out of clay. And then coming down, we've got one of those meringue things, uh, three cupcakes and three more of these cherry buns. Um, and I made these out of clay as well. So <laughs> they are really cute. And they're all behind this glass window. And I think it just looks so aesthetic and makes me really hungry for cake. So <laughs> that's not a good thing because I don't have cake right now. <laughs> Um, then on the end we just have the till and another one of these cute potted plants that I made. Um, this is the smallest one that I made so I just put it next to the till because it's cute. On the floor um, we have another potted plant. <laughs> you can see a theme here, I put them all in the cafe. Um, but yeah, that's the biggest one. And then here um, is Jenny and she's just grabbed a, a smoothie from... Ollie, I guess, and she's heading back to sit with her friend and they're having buns and a nice chat after a morning of horse riding. <laughs> so that's very lovely. And then there's one more table here though. It's currently empty. So yeah, that is the cafe area. Um, yeah, I really, I really like it. Like this whole sort of shop bit and it's really cute. So yeah, that's the cafe. I think we'll head into this barn here now because it's right here and it makes sense to follow the path down. So yeah, I'll pop this way. Let's come around. Welcome inside the Schleich barn. This is actually the only barn uh, on the tour and that I own that is by Schleich. The rest of mine are handmade. Um, so let's take a look around it. Down here, uh, when you come through the front door, the first thing you see is the ladder to go up into the loft. Um, the loft is currently being used as a sort of a campsite, camp out bit. Um, because people are staying uh, staying over for the festival at the barn uh, while it's on, because that's really fun to do. <laughs> the uh, door to the loft is currently open, but you can shut it. Um, I guess it's ventilating in the day. But you have a really cute view of the rest of the barn, which I love. Uh, on the wall inside the barn uh, is also posters, and we have uh, horseshoes on this wall. Um, that's pretty much for here, but I really do love these sleeping bags and the matching pillows. Um, up on the roof, we have another weather vane and a squirrel. <laughs> Let's go back and down inside. In the first stall, we have Zeus, the Andalusian stallion, who is very handsome. And across from him, we have Pinky, and she is the Pintabian mare. And they both look so cute together because they're like the same shade of Palmino. I love that. <laughs> In the um, middle of the stall, or stables here, um, is this guy. I don't think he's got a name. Let's call him Ted. <laughs> and he's currently, like, with his horse, Otter, and she is a trachna mare. And he's just got her um, head collar on his shoulder, and I guess he's going to put it on her and tack her up or something like that. But I absolutely love Otter. She is so cute and slinky and I just think the name suits her so well because she's like sleek and looks very streamlined like an otter. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're in the middle of the barn just chilling. And then in this stall over here, we have Jasper and he is the thoroughbred stallion. And he actually came with this um, bit of the stable. Um, with this barn, you can sort of buy like additional stables to attach onto it. So like they kind of are all loose like this and you just push them together. So he came in his own sort of bit. So he's got a picture of himself on the outside. That's how smart Jasper is. And he's got his tack um, on the outside of the stable. And um, also down here <laughs> on the floor, we have a little side table with some bows. I think somebody must have taken those out of a horse. And we also have a tiny little uh, model lion it might be a shark lion you never know <laughs> with this barn i um obviously don't have grass down on the floor here so we're just like pretending that this whole bit here is inside and um that hence the no grass and you can just sort of walk down here and it's fine but please ignore my foot i'm like squished up against the wall and i can't move it anywhere <laughs> anyways the side table's there um on the left we have the final stable and in it is Ozzy, and he is a Hanoverian gelding. And he's just watching over his little nephew here, Boots, um, who's currently having some hugs from this little boy. Um, I don't think the boy's got a name. Or maybe he does, but 
I honestly no idea. <laughs> but I do really like this stable because it's got like the hay and no front to it, so it's a bit like relaxed and it's cute. In um this bit here, it's not a stall, so to speak. It does have a like a stable door on the side, but it's sort of like to an inside outside kind of paddock vibes. Um the mare here is Beauty and she's an Andalusian mare. And then here we have Fawn and it's an Andalusian foal. <laughs> I said it's, I think it's like a she. <laughs> not it's. Um then they're heading outside, so let's go ahead and see. There's Brandy, we saw earlier. Here um we have Dolly and she is the curly mare and oh my goodness, she's so fluffy. I'll show you how fast look at this. She's just having a little trot outside, and this is the back of the cafe. Um, yeah, so it all links like that. If we move further along the inside of the barn, we have these two characters who are tied up uh, currently to like this tie up area. <laughs> uh, this is Churro, and this is Charlie. They are the oldest horses at the barn. They're both geldings, and they are best friends um, with a collective passion for salary. Um, <laughs> So that's kind of random, but really funny. They're currently just sort of having a chat, you know, observing, watching the world go by. Um, it's really cute. Yeah, they're watching the horses out in the paddock. Um, if we continue along inside, we have another block of stables. Inside the first stall is Maui, and he is the Lusitano Stallion. And I absolutely love this guy because he's so unique and his paint, his paint work is really detailed and super cute. Um, he has a first place medal on the outside because he's excellent. <laughs> um, in the next stall, we have Raven and she is the freezing mare. And again, she is gorgeous. And on the roof, we have two flags, which is lovely. Moving further down the corridor, we have a wash store and another little stable. Um, and that sort of like completes the inside of the barn. And then you can head back outside there. Um, Outside the wash stall, we have a barrel for barrel racing, just being kept there. Um, we have obviously the hose for the wash stall. And in the uh, in here currently, we have Katie, the quarter horse mare, and uh, Sophia, this little girl here. She's currently putting on Katie's fly mask um, to put her back out in the paddock. And um, <laughs> the fly mask I actually made, it's the only one I've attempted to make for like and it was ages ago so you know it's not the most attractive thing in the world though I made it for KT because it matches her braids with the yellow so I don't know I just like to have it on her because it's kind of cute with the colours. In the stall over here we have our final horse for this barn and his name is Flame and he is a Hanoverian gelding and again he is so cute and he is in this lovely stall um uh that it's obviously a shike stall. He's got a rosette on the wall there. And yeah, he looks very happy. So let's head back on outside and we can look at the paddock. Here we are back outside. We have another row of rocks along this wall to sort of protect it and stop people getting too close to it. And then the paddock for this barn, um, well, the second paddock, because there's one over there as well. Um, the second paddock is here and it sort of links all of these things and is actually attached to the barns, which is super cool. Um, so it's neat. The first horse in the paddock here is Vegas and she is the Pura Raza mare. She's currently having a drink from the very fancy water basin. Then here we have the Aquatiki mare. She's grazing on some apples. I haven't actually got an official name for her, I don't think yet. I'm still having a thing about it. Then we have this little foal here, um, who is the retired Arabian foal. And again, I don't actually have a name for him because I kind of got them at a similar time and I haven't had a chance to like be inspired for their names, if that makes sense. They're, they're waiting to be named. <laughs> then here we have Jinx. And I can't actually remember. I think she's the Cremello mare. Pass. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> I don't know what she is, but she's one of the new Shikes and I'm pretty sure you can still buy her, so... Yeah, she's there. Then this is Dusty, the retired Andalusian foal. And yeah, that is it for the paddock. I actually just Googled um, the breed and it's Criollo, um, not Cremello. <laughs> As I said, I was thinking, no, that's the colour, not the breed. But I was really close. So it's Criollo. Um, yeah, and her name's Jinx. <laughs> anyway, 
Let's uh, come back to the road here. I'm just sort of stood on it right now. Here we are. Uh, I'm doing a 180 turn and we are on the road again. <laughs> um, let's go to the right here. We've got some something interesting happening. So let's let's have a look at what's here. This area here is the first part that's been temporarily set up for the show festival thing. Um, in the corner is the podium that you can have your picture taken on. And there's also a giant uh, <laughs> wreath. It's not a wreath, it's an archway um, out of bushes. And you can have your picture taken on that, whether you win, lose, whatever. It's just cool and a bit of fun. Um, <laughs> next to that is one of the championship flags. That's attached to this stadium here. And the picture on the back wall is a giant crowd like all cheering you on because this is where you receive your scores for whatever activity you've done. Um, on the table is the scorecards for the three judges and on the back wall is the TV that you can like watch the different arenas and the cross country course and stuff like that. Um, so it's super fun and lively. Um, we have Stacy here riding Star Storm, the Hanoverian gelding, and they have just received their excellent score. So she's just taken her helmet off and is celebrating. <laughs> um, Star Storm, I absolutely love. I repainted him and um, I'm super happy with how he turned out. I haven't done many repaints. Um, I definitely would like to do some more, but I think he's one of my favourite ones that I've done. He's like a flea bitten kind of horse, hence the name Star Storm. <laughs> We just have one final piece of fencing here, the other flag. It's kind of lopsided, let me fix that. <laughs> and that is it for the temporary setup bit here. And let's just let's just look over here because we've got two horses uh, cantering past. The first horse is a collector stallion and he's an Australian stock horse, that's his breed. Um, he doesn't have a name yet because I have. Uh, he's another one that I've just gotten second hand. Um, so I haven't gotten around to naming him, though if you have any ideas, I would love to hear your suggestions. He's bright red, though I have been thinking about repainting him because of his colour. Um, so that's why I haven't gotten like round to naming him, if that makes sense, because, you know, the, the colour affects what you're going to call him, potentially. So, <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love his position, though, because it's like a lazy canter, and that's quite a unique like position for a model. I don't have one like similar, I don't think. Um, behind him, we have um, Bobcat, the quarter horse mare, and she is really cute also. Both of these um, riders, I like riding in these Western saddles that match. So I, the idea was that they were like in a Western kind of club together and they're the first two members and they've just been out on a sort of adventurous trail ride and are heading back. And, um, you know, the club colours are red is like red so hence the matching saddles anyway i thought that was really cute and both the horses really suited that kind of vibe so <laughs> i'm kind of going with that i it sounds loads of fun to me <laughs> okay i have just pivoted again and oh my gosh you should see like the position i'm in right now but <laughs> it's fine um on the opposite side of the road to the um uh, what's it called the stand where you receive your scores the judging stand maybe that's what it's called okay <laughs> on the opposite side of the road to that we have our first paddock it's quite a small one it's like a technical agility course and we have two horses going around it right now um it's ne right next to the big house and is encircled with fencing to trying to contain the uh horses <laughs> and the riders i guess the first horse is moose and she is the um Oh, what's she called? The Black Forest Mare? Yeah, the Black Forest Mare. She is super cute and I love her name, like Moose. It's adorable. She's just going over some trot poles. Her rider's looking pretty comfortable there. Um, yeah, those are actually Playmobil poles that I got with a Playmobil barn when I was really little. So these are really old. Um, we have another jump back here. These ones, um, these poles are paper straws and I've popped them on some like blocks. Um, over here we have this creepy man again. He is everywhere, but we will ignore him and look at the pretty horse instead. <laughs> um, this is Horace, and he is the Andalusian stallion that came with the like advent calendar. Um, and he's wearing some lovely teal tack and is currently bending around these poles. I don't know if you remember um, 
Jasper from a minute ago, but Horace and Jasper are best friends, like the villains in 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the final jump is a simple sort of pole with between these two cones. <laughs> this is the um, entrance and exit to the arena, and yeah, it's, it's just super chilled out, and you just move slowly around it and have a bit of fun popping around some cute fences and stuff. The road uh, bends around here. Um, I'm literally like sat in the middle of the road, <laughs> so you can't really see. The road bends around here. This is a big rock, um, again, to stop the cars coming down this way. And also, it's like a bit of a statement near the front of the barn. Um, let's have a look at this horse and rider set here. I think I just sat on the flag. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Um, this is Brooke, and uh, she's riding Mojo and He's a Pinto Stallion, though I can't remember his breed. I think he's just pin. I think his breed is literally Pinto Stallion. Um, though he's really cute, and he came with the cafe set. And they're just having a little uh, trot down the road. I think they may have just come from doing their like class or something. Um, so she looks very smart, and they both look very pleased with themselves, <laughs> which is cute. Okay. Um, I've just looked up. Realized. Okay, I've just looked up. Realized it's four o'clock. I've been here, f I don't know, since 11. Granted, I've not been filming the entire time, but it's late and we've not done half of the barn yet. Um, and we're only just getting to the main barn now. So I need to like keep going and get a wriggle on and stop faffing about um, because I promised my mum that this was going to be tidied up tonight. It's almost tonight and we have not filmed it and it's definitely not tidied up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to keep going. Um, yeah, okay, here we are at the main barn. Um, it's got the signs I made for uh, the barn at the front of it. I was thinking about potentially updating these because I've had the same ones for quite a while. I might just like take the same principle and just upgrade it. Or I might, because if you've been on my channel for a while, you will know that my barn used to be called the Rainbow Riding Ranch. And then I like changed it to this, but I kind of miss the Rainbow Riding Ranch just because it was, I don't know, it's just so like nostalgic <laughs> or whatever. So potentially I might change it to that. Also, I just love like the rainbow colour palette and stuff. So I feel like that's kind of the colour palette of on my channel. So maybe I need to change it back to that. Anyway, I'll have a think. The signs are here. It's a lovely lake um, and it's got the social media signs underneath as usual. It's got some rocks around the front here to stop uh, cars just driving into it. We've got um, a lovely basket of roses and the doorbell, which um, I've sort of shaded around with pastel because obviously it gets like a high, you, it's not a high, <laughs> it's not a high footfall area. It's like lots of hands come here, so it's kind of worn. Um, on the other side, we have the facilities that are offered at the barn and the picture of the lake is continued and we also have some roses and a few more rocks to sort of complete the curve. Right, let's head inside. This has been a long time coming, so let's head on into the main barn, which is the biggest of my handmade barns. And um, yeah, I think it's the one that I'm like, is completed if that makes sense. Whereas the others, I feel like there's still loads of stuff that I'd like to add to them. Whereas this one, I'm. I feel like it's like the furthest along and where I'd like the others to be, if that makes sense, in terms of their sort of realisticness. And yeah, <laughs> it's, I think it's my favourite one. It was the first one I made. So yeah, all of those things. <laughs> Let's go into the tack room first, as usual, because it's here on the left. Um, up here, you can see the doorbell, which is just a little bell. I think I might have gotten it off of a lint teddy bear and then tied it to some rope. Um, below that is the first aid box, which is glued to the wall. It's got a walkie-talkie on top, and inside um, it's packed with bandages. Uh, it's got a mirrored back to it, creams and stuff like that, and also checklists. And um, yeah, it's just it's just very official. Let me shut that. Keep it safe. <laughs> um, down here we have the tack room door, which swings open and shut <laughs> as you'd expect um this is the front office sort of desk area so when you arrive at the barn come in here check in like oh i've got a lesson now here's the computer <laughs> 
Um, there's also a random trophy on the top. I don't know why that's there. Maybe someone was having a clean out. Uh, there's also a lone carrot. Um, that's probably not going to last long. There's a lot of horses in here that would like to eat it. Uh, let's have a look. Down on this wall, we've got lots of posters with information. We also have this milk jug thing. We've got the arena rules. Uh, a poster about helmets. Um, and these are two example signs for um, like the horse trail signs that mark paths around the barn and stuff. So uh, when new people arrive at the barn, whoever's on reception is like, oh yeah, just look out for these signs. So they're there to be pointed out. Here we have a lovely picture that I took of, it's actually Chili in her matchy matchy set. Um, we also have another little checklist thing. Um, this is a chalkboard along here um, where some people like put up the weather and stuff. But to be honest, I don't think anyone's done it in a while. <laughs> um, but that was the idea with it. That, you know, the people working here could like write down the weather conditions or whatever to let people know what it's like that day. Um, here we've got a little tray that says please <laughs> that says please take and um, it's got some checklists in it for a horse show so you you like people here are just welcome to sort of come along grab one and it's got all the things you need to remember for going to a horse show on it which is super important because you know <laughs> people forget their girths and stuff and it's quite important <laughs> right let's go inside the tack room um Underneath the first aid kit here, we have a fire extinguisher um, that's just tucked into the little spot for it there. Um, also below here, we have a dog's blanket and uh, there's lots of barn dogs in the barn that just sort of float around and they can go under there to have a little nap. Um, above that is the saddle pad sort of cupboard and they're all on hangers to correspond with the colour of the blanket. Um, and we also have some riding helmets being stored under there right now. There's also a mirrored back to that as well, though, but it's so full at the moment, you can't actually see it necessarily. <laughs> um, and at the top, we have a cat basket, which currently has a cute little black and white cat curled up asleep on a blanket in it, which I absolutely love. Right, then moving on, we have the built-in L-shaped sofa. And um, it looks like such a great spot to hang out. I absolutely love it. It's got leather on the uh, seats. Um, so it's super like plush and comfy. Then uh, we have lots of little pillows. And also there, the basket thing is for cats um, or kittens or whatever. If you want to sit on the sofa with a cat, you know, it's then got a special bed. So it encourages the cats to come and stay with you. Um, we also have a little toy rhino there. Again, it might be like a model, like a model rhino, like a like, like rhino or something. And um, on the back wall, we have the picture wall. Um, I think it might currently be expanding, so to cover two walls. But um, there's loads of photography and art and stuff. A lot of the photography is actually found on my like, Instagram page, which is linked down below. Um, but I just printed them out super small and yeah. We now have the photo wall. <laughs> Above that, we have some rosettes. And um, on the side here, let me move the lamp out the way. Um, but you can see there's the like a ladder up here. So you can go up this ladder to get up the top. Um, <laughs> and we've got loads of hay bales up here right now. However, it can, like when it's cleared out and stuff, uh, people bring sleeping bags and stuff up here. Um, it really depends, again, like the loft in the other barn. Uh, depends on the vibe but right now this is being used for storage um but yeah it can be used for other things as well <laughs> uh here is just a lamp uh as we've seen before then above it we have uh three different pictures the um this picture here is actually like mounted in a frame and that one i'm definitely happy with like being in the tack room there and it's like a big it's a big um like group photo and it's i think it's one of the thumbnails for like the day at the horse show um yeah, I love that picture. And then the two above it are kind of just more sort of temporarily stuck down like posters. So I might eventually move these. <laughs> Starting to move it now. Um, but yeah, those are there. Then we have three saddle racks um, with saddles on. Uh, the one on the top is a pony saddle, so it's really small. It probably should be on the bottom because it's little kids that are going to use it. But um, they are stacked there like that. If my camera will focus. <laughs> Um, next to that on the other wall is a ladder, so you climb up, grab what you want, go back down. Um, we also have a tiny little 
there's quite a low table down there so you can use that to step up to the ladder um or you know use it to put stuff on so we've got a um grooming kit on it right now um they're only one because i guess they're being used around the barn today um and then above that we have the bridal wall and we have a full set of well the full set of hooks being used um lots of bridles being stored so yeah those are all there and there's the office chair, the office computer desk again. And what do we have under the desk, actually? We have a lot of storage room under the desk here. Let me um, pull it out and have a look. <laughs> we have bottle, um, some rubbish, a bone, signs, that kind of thing. Let me put the bridle back. I'm just knocking it off the wall. Oh, no. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have, like, dislodged so many things. I'm now setting off a chain reaction. Okay, don't worry, this task was just not supposed to be done one-handed, but here we are, I, it's, you know, there's no alternative, let me pull this out. Oh, we have another grooming kit, let's just pop that there, and um, blankets and stuff, so yeah, that can be used up there if you wanted to sleep in the barn, um, you have that option, so let's just pop everything back now, um, I'll just leave that grooming kit there, it's fine, let's shut, let's shut that before any more um, carnage ensues. Is that a word? Follows. Any more carnage? Uh, anyway, let's just shut that before anything worse happens. <laughs> um, the opposite side of the tack room, we have a stall. And in it, we have the biggest model horse, um, like, like, scale that I have. Um, she is the collector. Uh, she's a collector mare. Um, and she's Persian mare. Um, I don't have a name for this lady either. I was thinking Snowy, but then I realised I have another horse like that already. Um, potentially Elsa, but I'm not sure. She's just so adorable, though. I really want to get her name right. And she is just dozing in her store, um, having a look out of the front door and probably getting some sunlight on her face, that kind of thing. She is so lovely, and she is in this massive store because, like I said, she's a big gal. <laughs> Um, in the uh, main barn, all of the horses have these automatic waterers, um, so that's plugged in there, it's the pipes, the pipe work is underneath it, and then we have a hay bale here for her, an empty bucket, which probably needs to be removed, like, that was what her breakfast came in, um, we have another pile of hay there, um, yeah, that's pretty much for her store, actually, I really like the name Elsa for her, because she's, like, white, white, so like Elsa the princess <laughs> potentially let me know what you think outside her store is a picture um yeah <laughs> it's kind of a cool one an empty saddle rack and we have a bucket full of grain I want to say yeah bucket full of grain another bucket crate full of apples um and then on the Next saddle rack is actually a saddle, which is a really cute one. It's got lots of details, so I like that saddle a lot. Then here we have this cute dog, who I love. Though, I can't remember his name. I want to say he's a Border Collie, um, or an Old English Sheepdog, or something like that. But I don't actually know his official breed. Um, nor do I have a name for him, but he's really cute, and he's guarding his bone, and he's just adorable there. <laughs> Um, let's go into this store here, uh, the one with the window to the tack room. Um, in it we have Treacle, and she is a Mustang mare, and she is awesome. Uh, her water feeder's back there, she's got a hay bale, some patches of hay, like where it's been strewn, I guess, across the stable. And, yeah, she's just, she's just chilling. We also have, um, some cobwebs in the corner of her stall, because, you know, realistic. <laughs> Um, outside she's got a sage green head collar which I made um, yeah and then on the outside of this stall we have another picture of the barn um, just a picture of the horses and then we also have some name cards um, but these like name cards for the like aren't for treacle she's just being kept in here temporarily it's not actually supposedly her stall if that makes sense then down here we have a bench um, with a helmet on some hoof balm and a bag of treats um, and then we also have this awesome box which I made um, full of brushes grooming supplies hoof picks that kind of thing and it's really cutely named um, like labeled <laughs> and then here we also have another cute box um, which I love again <laughs> which is a metal um, miniature crate kind of thing and it's filled with apples 
Then here we have Lara and she is vlogging again. Um, she's trying her hand at that. <laughs> um, if you follow my channel, uh, you may have seen my latest Strike Horse movie um, was actually a vlog and it was by her and it was a bit of a disaster to say the least. <laughs> So yeah, she's giving that a go again and has not been put off by her previous experiences, which, you know, like, good for her. Um, <laughs> so she's there doing that. On the other side, um, we'll just go back over here, I guess. We have another grooming kit and a dog bowl. I can't remember if I mentioned those, but um, we also have another head collar and a nameplate and a cute picture. I think that picture's actually of Treacle. Maybe she's just in the wrong stall. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. Um, in the stall is Boris and he is a Tinker Stallion. And he is, I think, a bit in love with um, this mare here. But she's paying him no attention. So he's just talking to himself. <laughs> um, he's got his water back there. Hay bale down here, which he's been munching on. And in his stall, keeping him company, is this little beagle dog. I think I called it Bumble. Um, <laughs> he's quite cute. Let's head on down the barn a bit further. We have another bench here, and underneath it are some grooming supplies. I think they can actually be kept in the bench, but it looks like there's a lot of other random things being kept in there right now, so let's not worry about that. <laughs> on the wall, we have another cute barn picture. Um, this one's got lots of ponies in, and on the wall, we have um, some more information um more importantly like the most important bit is like the dietary needs one so there's a few stalls that have those on and you can't feed the horses when that signs on so yeah we have um a green head collar and here is sarah and she's just trying to say hi to uh the horses in the stall this is um tennessee walker mare i don't think i've got a name for her um but i think i would like to call her wolfie um yeah, I can't remember if I had a name for her, but let's just say it's Wolfie because that's what I wanted to call her. <laughs> um, and then in the store with her is her foal, Cheese Puff, and he is also a Tennessee walker, and he's obviously a foal, um, and they are super cute. So they're new to the barn, and Sarah's just trying to say hi to them and make them feel more comfortable because they're a bit nervous at the moment. Um, yeah, that's a cute store. <laughs> Sorry, they're really cute. Um, let's move over to the left, where we have Cyclone, the Frisian Stallion, and, oh my goodness, he's so handsome. I did originally, I had originally called him Hades, but then I changed it to Cyclone, and now I kind of feel like he needs to be called Hades again. Pass, I don't know, it's a bit of a confusing one, that horse, <laughs> so maybe I'll just use both names for him, I don't know. <laughs> um, but outside that store, we have a saddle, um, a mounting block, this, um, bit of wood down here was the bridle stand it fell off so i've just sort of popped it under there no one will know <laughs> apart from you but you can keep a secret it's okay <laughs> um then we have a bench there uh with some treats on an empty mug which frankly is a bit gross um and an old bottle so someone hasn't done their dishes <laughs> um we have a, another just a generic saddle here um oops the bottle's gone fly and um let me pop that back. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, generic saddle, some more posters, and a grooming box. Oh my gosh, I had to move. I was doing a really, like, awkward lunge, and I didn't realise my leg fell asleep. Ow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, back to the tour. The last store here has an adorable halfling of foal in it who is lying down. And, again, I don't have a name for this horse. It's not that, like... I forgot it. It's just I have not named it. I've got quite a few of these horses that I've bought that um, were retired or like I, um, you know, just bought while I was doing my exams and have not had chance to like think about a name. So I'm going to like do a book recording all my horses names. And when I do it, I'll go through them and make sure they've got a name because it's just not fair to keep them nameless for so long. <laughs> um. Then next to this like miniature sort of pony slash foal store, um, we have the, uh, I was gonna say the coffee shop. It's not the coffee shop, it's the kitchen. Um, and personally, like the word around the barn is this is one of the best places to be. Um, you get tea, 
there's usually biscuits, snacks, you know, everyone loves to be here because, you know, after a hard day of work or walking around the barn for ages, you want to have a cup of tea. So in <laughs> in the main barn, we actually have like a kettle. Um, I made that myself out of clay. It's plugged into an actual outlet, not an actual outlet, but like it's actually got a plug um, which is attached to the wall and then the kettle can be removed from the base. I'm not gonna do that now because I will just knock everything everywhere. <laughs> I definitely need two hands for that. Anyway, this guy, he's just getting himself a cup of tea um yeah with his silver mug my brother opened up him in the dinosaur advent calendar and he did name him but i wasn't listening i couldn't remember his name um on the wall here is a massive chalkboard for playing hangman and games like that the chalk's on the ledge there um we have the sink in the middle with a dirty spoon in um and then on the mirror on the back wall um are some cute posters someone stuck up like little pictures postcard things we also have a jar of mints, which is kind of running low in the corner for horses. Stack of plates that are clean, hopefully. <laughs> and um, we have another shelf on the side there. And here we have um, two pictures of uh, food and stuff. And actually I painted those um, and then shrunk them down to like, that size and printed them out kind of thing. So that's really cool. Uh, if I move this guy. Um, under the sink we have loads of spare bags, like new bags of horse feed um, being kept under there for storage until you need to top up something. And then there's a chair there to have a chill out on. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome, <laughs> sorry. Um, up here is two crates, one's full of carrots, the other is full of potatoes, okay, random, feel like a bit of cooking, you know where to come. Uh, there's also a knife on the top shelf, no idea why. <laughs> um, on the floor we also have another stack of crates, one's got potatoes in, one's got cabbages, so this is a fresh food, vegetables, that kind of thing. Um, here's a, another sort of tack storage thing that's not got tack on right now, that you can move it about the barn as you need it. And underneath we've got loads of uh, tack cleaning kit stuff. <laughs> stuff just stuff in general okay here we are at the back of the barn um there's a painting on the wall of a mother and a foal and down on the floor we have uh found the barn cat sergeant tibbs um yeah he's patrolling and he's kind of skittish so it's kind of rare to see him out and open like this so <laughs> it's a rare sighting okay you guys i've switched sides again and i've just spotted something else i didn't mention there's a bucket there with feed <laughs> but i am moving about so much <laughs> okay there's um cheese puff and wolfie they're in, they're over there in the final little pony slash foal st stable we have um banana pancakes the prewalski's horse and this is actually the stable meant for her because it's got the pictures of her on the outside um her name pancake <laughs> and um yeah, that's really cool. Um, we have the side table here with a brush on, just a fork for mucking out. And then behind Sergeant Tibbs is the feed room. And oh my goodness, does this place need to sweep. Look at all the hay on the floor. Somebody clearly made breakfast this morning a bit chaotically. I'm not saying I'm blaming anyone, but I feel like she's got a tracked history for causing chaos at the barn, I'm just saying. Anyway, in the feed room, um, we have like a door for the feed room, which says the name of the room on it, <laughs> but it's usually open and um, has loads of notices on the back of it. Um, yeah, people put like wanted ads or free things and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just there because everyone sees them. On, yeah, above, on the wall above that, we have two framed pictures of Maui and Tiger Lily um, at the beach. Then in the feed room, we have lots of feed, obviously, and snacks and stuff. We have buckets on the floor um, being prepared and maybe like sugar beet being soaked. Um, hanging up here on the fruit rack um, are some bananas, um, which horses like as snacks. So yeah, those are there. Then um, on this side, we have a hay net holder thing, which can come down and you can use to stuff hay nets with. So that makes your life a bit easier. Um, on this wall we have some more pictures and um, at the back we have the
the uh, feed bins with oh my goodness, um, with like pony nuts and chaff because that's like the staple of most horses' horses' diets. Um, so yeah, they're back there. Uh, we also have a mirror on the back wall, shelves, and a ladder. I can't really get my camera in there. I'm like crouched so awkwardly. <laughs> um, there's a light switch on our back wall. Some more information, pictures, you name it, it's there. Um, and then on the top, top shelf, we have sugar beet, which is being kept out of the way, um, and medication, um, which again is being kept out of the way because it's sort of dietary specific. So, yeah. And I believe, oh my goodness, we have done the entire main barn. <laughs> Woo! I think we're halfway now. I'm just having some um, mint tea because, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so well done. We have finished the entire main barn. Wow, that was a lot of things. Um, I'm making the exec executive decision. We're going to take a right at the path here because we've already had a little look down there. So let's finish the right and we'll do the left in a minute. There's also a more comfortable seat here for me so <laughs> my legs can regain like feeling and stuff. Okay, here we are. Um, we've taken a left out of the main barn, come through the p pathway, and now we're on like pedestrian horse only territory, so no cars coming down here. Um, yeah, here we are. Um, <laughs> the first horse you may notice is this massive horse here. He is Bunny. Um, <laughs> he's called Bunny, but he is mighty. Um, and he is the collector Tinker Stallion, I believe. And I absolutely love this guy. He is such pretty colours. And I love the name um, because I do really love bunnies. Anyway, he has been hooked up to this carriage, okay? Um, maybe I need to give some backstory. Here is the camping area. So as I mentioned before, people are camping in the top of the barn. You know, they're staying over everywhere. Um, this is the largest sort of settlement of campers. Um... Yeah, it's a good spot. Everyone's pitched their tent here if they want to stay over. It's good fun. And um, these wagons are also, like, can be pulled by horses. And they're usually just left. Um, you can camp in them. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're usually just static things. Anyway, poor Jessie was taking a nap in this little wagon. Happy as you like. Then her sister... Okay, whilst she was asleep in her sleeping bag, decided to hook up the wagon to Bunny, who, frankly, is quite excitable. And, um, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> so, Mia is back here. She's on her... Okay, let me just fix them. Mia is on her horse, uh, like her little Shetland pony, Spotty, um, as usual. The, like, evil team. Waving goodbye to her sister in her... <laughs> And she is catapulted down this alleyway on Big Bunny. And oh my gosh, I think she's, I think poor Jessie has had the shock of her life. <laughs> so that's pretty funny, but maybe alarming. They'll look back and laugh. Um, there's a tent back here. Here we've got a balcony type thing. Um, you can climb up to watch the stars. You can camp up there. It's just kind of fun. <laughs> Underneath it is one of these wagons. Um, I think the yellow one was next to it under there, like to keep the rain out. Um, it's not there anymore, obviously. But yeah, there's a wagon, a sleeping bag, another horse teddy under there. Uh, so that's cute. We've got another tent down there and a big one back there. That maybe like two or three or four people can get in. And behind the big ram, we also have a cooler uh, with snacks in it. And yeah, we have... Just a big, we just have a big sheep randomly. He's sort of on, he's just sort of <laughs> sat there watching the carnage play out. Though I wouldn't be surprised if Mia had let him out of his paddock, like sort of when she was not supposed to as well. So she's a bit, she's a bit of a troublemaker. I'm not going to lie. So we are going to leave that kind of carnage slash <laughs> chaotic energy outside. And we're going to enter the show barn via the lovely ramp bordered by red flowers. It's all lovely in the show barn. Um, it's mainly horses that are like quite um, expensive, like they are quite high up in competing or whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever. So yeah, that's the show barn. Um, it's a bit different to the main barn. I started to renovate it. Um, I've done quite a lot to it. I've painted the sides. You will have, There's like a 
three video series started on my channel, um, renovating the main barn. We've got the wash stall completely done, which is really, really lovely. The tack room is um, a lot better than it was. And yeah, now we'll just have like some bits to finish on it. So the show barn is quite different to the main barn. It's obviously gray, different type of wood I used. Um, I think we'll start with the tack room, like the, in the main barn. <laughs> Let's go in. So on the first front wall here, we have a little trophy cabinet. Um, it's dusty on top because it's quite high up, but um, we've got two trophies and a rosette in it, which is lovely. Um, and then beneath that, we have like a saddle, saddle bridle, sort of, I was gonna say station. I think it's just storage. Um, <laughs> let me lean over, hang on, I'm leaning over. Then um, on, on the wall next to the cabinet, we have some more information um, such as, uh, well, variations of trot and canter posters. I, re I liked those when I found them online because um, there were two like of the same thing. So I thought that looked quite strong and it matched the grey theme. So I went with those. Um, we have a big feed bin in the corner. I'm not going to open that up because I think I need to do some extra hot gluing around that. It's sort of, um, yeah, it's it's interesting when you try and open it up. I'm not going to. On top of it is Oreo Junior, a little kitten. Um, yeah, he's just there, just there. On the back wall, we have uh, dietary posters about horses and stuff, um, which seems appropriate. We have a shelf up there that's empty. Then we have the central main cabinet, um, in the room on the top shelf is a clay globe I made. We've got a camera and then lots of books, um, which is really cool. And these horseshoe bookends I made out of clay as well. <laughs> um, yeah, and then at the bottom there we have the first aid kit, which is hopefully signposted, which I think is quite cool. Um, also, I think there's been problems with mice in this barn because they have stewed through the bottom of the feed bin and um, some of it's leaking. So I'm gonna have to get out of my hot glue and fix that. Um, yeah, no, we don't, we haven't actually had real mice in this barn. I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> I think I just didn't glue it properly the first time. Um, on the right, we have a L-shaped sofa, which is built into the wall, like lovely. It's like nice and cozy. Um, it's got pillows on the wall. We also have some more posters and information about horses, horse coat colours, that kind of thing. The, um, sofa actually does lift it up for storage underneath. And in there we've got more pillows, teddies, grooming kits, that kind of thing. Um, we're not going to worry too much about that. <laughs> then um, here is the front desk for the barn. We have another kitten who is also causing mischief. I think this one's called Coco, um, though I can't remember <laughs> specifically. Um, we have the computer and a bucket and also a sign that says Tack Room. Tack Room. In case you didn't know where you were. In the main corridor here we have Glimmer and she is the Lipizzana mare who loves purple and is a bit of a diva. Um, and when I say a little bit of a diva, I mean a lot. She's being led out, um, I think into the field. Don't tell her, she doesn't like the field. Um, <laughs> so that's quite funny. And then on the left uh, is the wash stall, though I think I might do the stalls here first and then switch sides and go to the wash stall next. Um, so here we have uh, Summer's stable and Summer is a Shire mare and she's currently having a groom, um, which is really lovely. <laughs> just tweak my camera settings. No, okay, here we are. Um, yeah, she's just, she's just being pampered, which is really lovely. And the only other thing is we have signs here for the feed and tack room and a first, kit, first aid kit sign, um, like labelling that room there so you can find all those things inside. Moving up the corridor, we have Roxy, the miniature schnauzer. She's just uh, like guarding the barn, looking important next to her bone. <laughs> Super lovely. And um, yeah, she's probably watching the people leave the barn and stuff. Um, in between the stalls here, we have more saddle, bridle, tack, uh, tack room storage area. Uh, I have yet to update the bridle hooks, but yeah, <laughs> maybe I will do that soon. The um, tack we've got in here right now is like a lovely dark blue set and it's all matching and even in the bucket is a dark blue hoof pick, if you can see that. Um, so it's like owned by a full-on matchy-matchy person. <laughs> I fully approve. 
Um, in this fi oh, not the final stall, in this like big stall, it's like, these ones back here are super big. They're like mother foal kind of size. Um, we have Havana, the Hanoverian mare. Havana, the Hanoverian mare. <laughs> That's kind of a mouthful. And she has her foal uh, sea star here. And they're just having a little, well, quiet time in the stall. There's a foal head collar outside um, on the hook. In the middle stall are the Oldenburg mare and foal. Uh, the mare is called Duchess and the foal. I was considering calling Cupid because of the heart um, on its forehead, um, which I still think would be cute, but Duchess, maybe like with the mum being called Duchess, maybe I could call the foal like Marie or Toulouse or something, like one of the Aristocat kittens. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'll decide, I'll decide. But yeah, the Oldenburg mare and foal look so cute with the Hanoverian mare and foal. Like they're both braided and oh, I just, I thought they looked really cute together. So I put them in like stalls like adjacent to each other. So that's sweet. And in the final stall, um, we have the Trachner mare and a little Holstoner foal. Though again, they look cute together. Um, so I kind of made them like a mum and baby. <laughs> the foal is called Governor. Um, yeah, he's cute. And I'm pretty sure the mum I called Elsa. Um, yes, and she is also cute. So that is the, those stalls done. Let me switch sides and we can get a look on the other side of the show barn. Again, in between the two stalls, we have a mini tack room. Um, this one has two sets um, of tack inside it. One, one's pink and one is blue. Then in this stall here, we have the collector Frisian Stallion. <laughs> His name is Taryn and he is so black. It is adorable, though it's not like fully coming up on camera. It's kind of overexposing him, but he's lovely. Outside of his stall is this um, tack stand that has his black and white smart tag on it. And that looks super classy. <laughs> in the wash stall is Luna and she is a Tennessee Walker mare. She's currently tied up uh, with the cross ties in the wash stall. I think she's just had a shower, so it's just uh, drying off. And um, I'm guessing Bella's gonna come back in a second when she's dried off and finish uh, grooming her and all of that stuff. In the wash stall, we have the obviously the rubber matting on the floor. Um, which is a bit damp at the moment from her shower. She's wearing a head collar that I made for her. Um, and then in the back wall, um, in the stall, we have lots of bath, horse, soapy, bubbly pictures, which I found online, which I thought were really cute and went really well. Um, we also have, yeah, more horse health safety posters. On the back wall, we have um, the shower unit, um, which is the moving shower, the buttons to operate it here. Uh, we also have two mirrors which are really cool um, and some shelves to put grooming supplies on and stuff on but currently right now they're actually empty um, which is a surprise to be honest, they're usually really full. And on the other wall we have uh, more information um, about like grooming your horse, plaiting, yeah, plaiting things, all of that kind of wash stally vibe stuff is in there. Also, I think Taran has a bit of a soft spot for Luna because she's so pretty. Okay, um, we are back outside the show barn and we have finally moved into this corner here. Um, yeah, this is the end of the grass path corridor bit and um, also the entrance to a lot of, a lot of other things. Um, so we've got the entrance to the paddock over there, um, entrance to another set of stalls here and then here right in front of me, we have the entrance to these two um, wash stalls slash tack up areas. And um, through the corridor between them, you can also get to another inside storage area. So <laughs> it's quite a lot going on, but we'll start with the wash stalls here. Um, this is Skyla or Sky for short, and she is the retired Andalusian mare. She's just watching the chaos happening over there. And um, I think I'm pretty sure somebody's coming to tack her up in a minute. Um, there's just some sponges and grooming stuff down there. Um, this is the shower. Um, yeah, she's just she's just hanging out waiting for like stuff to be done to her. She's not really like too fussed. <laughs> There's also a barrel, racing barrel out the front. And in the second wash door here, we have Jack, the Welsh pony stallion. And he is currently being tacked up by this little boy. And they are having such a cute time together. The boy looks really happy. And again, in the corner, there's some more grooming supplies. And here is the shower. 
Um, also, these wash stools, they have hooks here for, like, cross ties and stuff, but, you know, like, the horses in here are really chilled out, so none of that's sort of, like, necessary for this right now. Um, then if you walk through the gap between the two wash stools, you come, like, inside, you have to pretend it's inside. Um, on the, on the, well, I guess if you walk through it, it'd be on the right. Um, we have this carpeted area, and, um, like, I kind of pretend that, like, this is kind of a spot you could also, like, just go and chill out in. Um, but right now, we have three little bunnies, um, which have, I don't know if they've escaped or what, but they are hopping around in here really, really happily. <laughs> Especially because they found a giant pile of apples. So we've got some stuff that's being stored. Um, we've got two grooming kits and some bags of feed. We also have Jack's old, um, well, not old, but his winter blanket. So he's not obviously doesn't need that right now. On the blanket, we have Purdy and uh, eating the apples. We have Mango. And then this bunny here doesn't actually have a name, but... Um, Mango and Purdy are named after and look like uh, two of my actual rabbits that I uh, used to have. So they are super special. And then on this side, uh, we have like a storage area for mucking out supplies and stuff. So obviously that's not on the carpet because it's not very hygienic. Um, but yeah, those, those are there. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it for this little bit here. Let's head into the barn next to it. This small barn is actually the second one I made after the main barn. It's two separate barns that can be pushed together like this, so it's one, or you can have them as individual blocks and rearranged differently, so that's really cool. And um, yeah, I really like that. <laughs> that's something unique about this one because it's quite small. Um, in the doorway, we have the donkeys, and the big mum donkey here is called Betty, and then we have um, like Ears, the little donkey. I think he's called Ears. Um, but my brother bought me that one for, I think, my birthday one year. And then we've got the other little brown donkey back there, which is super cute. And Abby the vet is currently just having a checkup um, with the donkeys. And, uh, yeah, she's got her first aid kit behind her on the uh, barn, like, stall wall there. And in this stall here, uh, we have the retired Hafflinger mare. She is called Honey Cake. In the stall next to her, we have Squidward, and I think he's a fjord. I mean, he's got the dorsal stripe. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to say he's a fjord, and Squidward is his name. He's got apples. Uh, I'll, I'll put him back so he was snacking on them a second ago. <laughs> and he also has a window out of his stall into the paddock there. Um, there's hooks here that you can like tie up if you want to tack up. And um, on the wall up here, we've got spots for head collars, bridles, that kind of thing. But there's only one little green head collar that I made up there right now. Down here, we have a Western saddle on a saddle rack. And finally, in the last two stalls, we have Fudge the Dartmoor Pony Stallion. And in this one, we have Banjo. And he is a collector Appaloosa Stallion. And he is super cute. That is this barn. Now we are going into the paddock. So we're heading out the barn, turning right through the gates here. And we have the Mare's Geldings um, foal paddock. It's, I think, bar two. It's all, like, draft horses, heavy horses, that kind of thing. Um, with the fluffy feet. <laughs> so that's the kind of uh, vibe we've got going on in here. Um, the first horse is a collector Clydesdale foal. And it doesn't have a name yet, as it's new. Then uh, we have Scardi, the, uh, I think she's called the Silver Dapple Mare, um, but, I should like, but I think I just call her like a Tinker Mare or a Gypsy Vanna because that's more like the breed she looks like. Um, then here we have this little filly and she's the retired uh, Shire Foal, um, but I can't actually remember her name right now. Um, here we've got Katniss and she is the Tinker Mare and she's like the special uh, one. This little foal here is a collector Gypsy Vanna foal, and I got it at the same time as the Clydesdale foal, so they are both currently without a name. Then back here we have this adorable guy, and he is a mojo horse. He's actually, I think, my only like mojo horse that I have. Um, and I, th I think I just call him a Gypsy Vanna as well, or some kind of pony. I haven't like fully decided yet. And the funny thing that's happening in the paddock is um, this little hedgehog here, Miss Tiddy Winkle, she is obviously just minding her own business, but the horses are freaking out. I think it like 
this this little guy, he went to explore the hedgehog, then freaked out, and that sort of set everyone off, so they're, like, shooting down there, <laughs> which is quite funny. Then coming around here, we have the field shelter that I made um, out of a cereal box. So if I swing around, we can get a better look at it. <laughs> it is um, entirely made out of cereal box and, like, lolly sticks and stuff, um, which is super cool, and I think it looks really realistic in the paddock. The um, mare we've got grazing here is Evangeline, and she is a Shire mare, I think, or a, yeah, I think she's a Shire mare, and she's retired. Um, then in the store, we have quite a few more foals. Um, this one is a repaint that I did of the quarter horse foal. Um, then we've got Belle, the Clydesdale foal, in the front here, and then right in the back, we have Snowy, and she's a retired Shire foal. And then this paddock here is like ends here, so it's not massive, but it's connected to the barn here, so these doors can open and you can the horses can come in and out of the fields. And we'll get to those two in a minute. But for this um sort of the right section of the barn, we have now completed it. So we're gonna walk back round and we're gonna take the left uh road, left of the main barn, and uh yeah, go and see what's happening around there. All right, let's come round and we have the second big horse show um, stadium over here, which is super exciting. <laughs> let's get down and have a look. Um, so this is the big horse show stadium. All the flags are flying. We've got the, uh, gra <laughs> the grass sort of banners and also the red carpet laid out. Um, walking down it right now is Porsche and she is an Arabian mare and is a collector horse that I repainted. Um, and she is another one of my like favourite customs. <laughs> she's just like a simple bay, but it looks really striking. And she's being walked down um, to like the presentation judging table right now. And you can see everyone back there. And we have a table with the trophies, rosettes, flowers, and also apples for the horses. <laughs> so yeah, they look super cute in their red set. Now let's um, swing round. We have the big arena, uh, the sand arena here. And then if you can see where my feet are, this is the road. And you have to imagine, because my grass is not long enough, but you have to imagine the road goes down there and then out the back there. <laughs> then behind Mojo here, we have a path that you walk down. If you're not riding a car, <laughs> driving a car, not riding a car. Um, so yeah, um, we've got another one of these rocks to stop people driving down it. So it's pedestrian friendly. Then um, behind Mojo, we have Harley Quinn, the Arabian mare. And she's being led to, I guess, to the judging area or something. But she's all dressed up in this harness and everything um, with butterflies. So she looks super cute. <laughs> uh, down the path a bit more. Outside the arena, we've got a um, a trough. I thought it was going to be a water trough, but it's got some kind of plant. And so I guess there's snacks for horses as they come in and out of the arena. Then up here, we have Whirlwind, the American saddlebred mare. And she's being ridden along. And this... Oh my goodness, this rider was the first rider repaint I did. Yikes. She has a haunting face. <laughs> so we won't worry too much about um, what she's up to. But <laughs> I think she might be called Phoebe. Anyway, let's come inside the sand arena, which I absolutely love. Um, this is another thing my brother helped me set up. So <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. It's obviously got jumps set up in it right now. We have lots of jumps. Um, the first horse here is Pegasus and she's a collector Mustang there looking awesome in the pink tack and yeah about to go over this jump here. Please note the wind is whipping through her mane in the same direction as the flags. <laughs> um, yeah we have lots of jumps and then we have this really cool horse here um, who is a secondhand, um, I, I'm going to call it a gypsy van. I'm not entirely sure of the breed, but it makes sense. And I'm pretty sure it's a Papo um, horse and they're going up over the jump, which is really cool. Then um, the final horse in the arena is Snapdragon and he is a tractor stallion. And they're also riding about in the arena. So I, uh, yeah, I love all of, <laughs> all of the arena. It's really um, cool and full of life. And obviously at the sides of the arena we have jump storage and our flower beds. Now heading to the left side of the arena is pretty much the same setup storage wise. But over in the corner we have Ursula and she is riding Pocahontas, the special Pinto mare, who is looking really nice in this pink tack set. And um, they're leading Hawkey, the Oldenburg uh, stallion. Um, 
just along this path. Then we have a big uh, water trough here um, for the horses, obviously. And then um, we come to the final one of my handmade barns. This is the clubhouse. And this is a um, doorway into the clubhouse, which is currently open. Um, so yeah, that's obviously like a people door. Um, you might be able to fit a pony through there, but generally, like if you want to lead a horse in, you have to go around the other side. So let's follow the path down. On this back wall by the corner, we have a big chicken hutch, um, which has currently got a lot of action. We've got two little chicken chicks here. We've got a fork here, um, a chicken on the roof. And then we have these um, trash bags that somebody has to take out. And we also have Clancy, um, the goose, who I think is Papo. Yeah, I just checked. It's Papo. And what else do we have in the chicken house? Let's have a look in the back. We have eggs. Excellent. <laughs> There's also a wheelbarrow here. And if I turn a bit more, we have some more horses and riders. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they're just here by the path. The first one is Boomerang, and she is a Tinker Mare, and yeah, they're racing along. Back here we have Spirit, and he is like being ridden bareback, of course, and he's racing to catch up. And in the back we have Chica Linda, and uh, she's being ridden by Prue, and yeah, they are just off on an adventure, I suppose. <laughs> Behind them we have a uh, horse truck and trailer, which is currently um, not being driven, it's parked, and... Um, <laughs> In the back, we have Ginger Nut and Patch, the cheeky, very cheeky, miniature Shetland ponies, um, like foals. And they are getting in the trailer because it's about to leave kind of thing and they want to escape. That's like their mission in life, to just escape. <laughs> so yeah, they're being super cheeky. <laughs> the trailer is actually a Playmobil horse trailer, um, so it's quite small compared to a like horse but you can fit tiny ponies and stuff in um yeah let's go into the clubhouse then um this is obviously the entrance way and it's the only one of my like barns that i um that has two stories and there's also a series of me making this on my channel if you are interested <laughs> um in the doorway then we have um one of our camera stallions and i repainted this guy He's being led out and these guys are actually heading for the trailer. So they're just loading up. But hopefully the lady sees the miniature Shetland ponies also hiding. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that's Bandit the Camera Stallion. Um, in his stable is a bit of poop. <laughs> it's a bit dirty. And there's also a hay bale that he shares with the stable next to him. Um, out the front is one of those um, tack holders. We have apples um, there on the floor, a bucket, a lone carrot, dog bowl, brush um barn things then in the stable next to him is foxtrot and she is the retired appaloosa mare she's just looking out the window i guess at the jumping and stuff <laughs> um there's the staircase here and um yeah we'll go up there in a minute but first let's have a look over here because we have two more stables in the one um on the in the on the left in the one on the left um we have hunter and he's a retired tennessee walker stallion and in the stall next to him is a rearing Lipizzana collector stallion. Um, they're currently getting a bit sassy with each other, um, as stallions do. <laughs> but they have hay bedding on the floor and a hay bale between them. Um, also, I thought I'd mention, if you're interested in making these hay bales, I have done a DIY. Um, they're really simple and quite fun to make. <laughs> uh, then underneath the stairs here is like another storage area. So we've got... Feed, apples, tack box, um, not tack box, grooming box, um, yeah, and stuff like that under there. Uh, here we've got a head collar, and under the stairs, um, in this part is a tack up area with a hook back there for tying horses to, and a bucket. There are the stallions again. <laughs> Here's the front door. Um, this is obviously the door. Uh, let's head up, up the stairs to the first landing. First of all, let's say hello to Muddle, <laughs> the Bengal cat. Um, and if you go left, you've got the sort of tack room for the barn, though it's kind of small. It's just got some uh, one bridle and mainly head collars just hanging there and one lone brush. <laughs> we'll wait to go up. We'll save the balcony for last. Let's go up the landing once more to the top floor where we have um, the hangout spot and sleepover central. It's very fun up here. <laughs> um, the first thing is a cat box because you've got to have 
place for kittens. Um, the <laughs> next to that is this bookshelf thing that actually is just being used to store um, riding hats. There's actually one book in this bit here. Uh, that we've got a rosette, a cowboy hat, a trophy, which is excellent. Um, so there's just one book on the bookshelf, but that's fine. Um, in the corner, there's a sleeping um, a sleeping bag that's been rolled up, a uh, basketball and a football. And then on the back wall, um, we have some posters that have been put up for fun that have featured in my past videos. So I'm just keeping them there for some reason. Uh, we've got a lantern there. And then here's the seating area, the cute sofas. Um, they're, they are wooden sofas that came with like my childhood doll's house. So they're being reused. Um, then we've got two little, we got Bella and Jessie again. They're just having a little friendly chat, um, having some fun. There's a cat basket in the corner. And on the central table, we've got the horse club flag, some uh, <laughs> refreshments and two little model animals and a grooming brush. Oh, and there's also a pink cat on the floor there. Now, once you come outside to the balcony, um, there's quite, something quite fun going on here. We have this guy who, um, I won't lie, he's kind of like the barn, he's one of the barn crazy guys because he's like an explorer, right? But um, he's convinced that there's a unicorn walking around the barn, but nobody really believes him. So he's set out to prove... <laughs> to prove everyone wrong so he's currently camping out on the balcony he's got his chair some carrot snacks um so i guess some tea and his spare binoculars there um and he's hiding behind a branch because he set out down here a giant ball of well like unicorn treats as bait um and actually there is a gold unicorn currently snacking on the treats so i don't know why this guy doesn't have a camera because um yeah, he's managed to see a unicorn, but I don't think anyone is going to believe him still. His um, tent's back there, and he's like camouflaged a bit, but he's still not got a very stealthy tent. Um, so yeah, he's kind. Of, that's kind of funny. <laughs> and um, over, this is like where it links to this paddock over here, and we have Fred the Clydesdale stallion and Missy the Icelandic pony mat, who also appear to have seen the unicorn. Um, though I don't think he's going to be able to use them as eyewitnesses. <laughs> yeah, I don't think many people would believe him. So that's really funny. I love that. Um, and that's it for the clubhouse. We have one more section of the barn left. I can't believe it. Um, so let's go and let's go and pop over here then. This is the farmhouse and it's supposed to be located down the road from the barn. Uh, it's where Ronnie and Terry were relocated to during their A Day with the Life of Ronnie and Terry uh, movie. <laughs> So yeah, it's a bit further down. It's at the literally at the end of the road, and um, right outside it we have the pig family who look to be well. The mum pig looks a bit startled at these three galloping through. Um, they're not completely startled. She's is kind of more interested. And then we have the two baby pigs here, and this is also like you can see the cow paddock in there and the hay grabber, which is kind of sticking out. We'll come back to the cows in a minute from the other side, but first of all, let's see the front of the farmhouse where one of my favourite scenes of the whole barn is set up. So this is the bit of the barn where I thought we need to sort of acknowledge the fact that it's end of August kind of thing. Um, so I've sort of set up this pre halloween -y scene. So let's pretend this is like somebody's grandfather. He's currently holding some kind of funny ceremony around this fire pit. And of course, all his cats have come out to uh, watch. Even the, even the tiny little kittens uh, are trying to help him out here. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. The um, front of his house, it's got a step and it's got his milk that he hasn't taken in yet that's been delivered. Obviously, it's got a hose, um, some cat bowls and a bucket. And then it's also got his big veg bed, um, which is currently growing pumpkins and um, I guess they're gourds or um, big squashes or something. But I wanted to sort of acknowledge the fact that it was like August to September time in the barn tour. So growing pumpkins, you know, seems like the right time for it to be happening, um, which is really, really cool. And I obviously did this border with rocks and I love it and then um at either side of the veg bed we have um my scarecrows that I made in the Halloween DIY video 
and um, the pumpkins are all growing through these vines here. And then there's the other scarecrow in the back corner. Um, we've got a pine tree back there, which um, like, <laughs> I don't know where my two other pine trees went. I think they're in a Christmas box, but I'm just sort of picturing that it's then forest that goes on. And right by the pine tree on the edge of the woods, we have two deer. This one is called Bobby and this one's called Buck. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I just absolutely love this scene. I think it's really seasonal um, Halloween vibes and really, really funny. <laughs> oh, also, there's a balcony um, up here that has a little blue bird on. So let's head round the other side of the house um, for the final bit of the tour. Here we are around the other side. In the kitchen of the farmhouse, it's pretty bare. I mean, I don't think this man's really into home interiors that much. He's got, of course, his cat bowls, um, and then he's got loads of dirty dishes in the sink, a table, and um, a big cat bed in the corner of his house. If my camera will focus. Let's have a go. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> the dirty dishes, um, the table, and then he's got a wood burner in the corner as well, and a picture on the wall. Upstairs, he's just got his plain navy bed, um, a old sort of mug um, and binoculars for bird watching, I guess. There's the view from his balcony. Um, <laughs> so that's super cool. And yeah, that's his house. Um, on the left here, if you take a turn to the left, uh, you can also get to the cow paddocks this way. So let's have a little look. Um, in this one here, we have the llama slash alpaca family. <laughs> We have Terry, the iconic um, llama here, and this is his wife Tilly, who is an alpaca actually, but we will ignore that. And then they have two children. This one was called Teddy, but um, pass. I don't know what this one was called. <laughs> then we've got Rosie, um, the cow there, and Ronnie. He is over there. What a legend. Um, the cow wash stall is here for like washing the cows. And then we have obviously the three cows back there as well and also another little cowl there um and then the last thing to look at is the upstairs of the hayloft here um we have two goats hot chocolate and boots and we have a squirrel in the crate and lots of hay stacked everywhere feed another squirrel yeah <laughs> and um the glass window is open upstairs oh my gosh everyone i have finished the tour um, you have now seen literally everything at the barn. It has taken me all day to film this. Um, so it's literally been a week in the making this video. I really hope you have enjoyed watching and <laughs> have not fallen asleep. I mean, I think this video may be one to one, one to watch in multiple stages. Um, but I wanted to do a awesome massive video, um, for you to watch and pick up when you wanted to because, yeah. It's so, it's really cool and as a thank you for 23,000 subscribers. So I hope you enjoyed watching and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads and I will see you in another video soon. Bye!